I have some bushcraft knives in the works here and I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm making here. I've got three blanks here that I torched out um, using a cutting torch out of a plow disc. I have a tin pattern. This is my bushcraft knife pattern. And I uh, originally made a cardboard pattern to the shape I wanted and then I transferred that to a piece of tin so I'll have a permanent um, pattern. I've got two knives here that have already been ground to shape and heat treated and now I'm in the process of fitting the handles. Um, these are wooden handles right here. That is king wood. And I have handmade these pins out of uh, welding, brass welding rod. And I've pre-flared them on one, one side so that will speed up the process when I uh, rivet the pins and the handles onto the knife tang. That's something you can make yourself. The handles on this knife are uh, fiber or a linen micarta that's a black. Uh, once it's polished out, it'll be somewhat shinier than that. These are just using and working bushcraft knives. Um, they're uh, meant to be used. Here's two more pieces of micarta. These are both uh, a linen micarta. Uh, I've got black and then a burgundy color. Up here I've got some uh, ebony. These are slabs, ebony slabs. You can even repurpose uh, uh, your wood um, out of old furniture or whatever if you would like. Um, here's a mock-up of my handles um, and I've got the brass Corby rivets countersunk in there. That's the thickness of my blade and I've uh, checked my drill bit to make sure the depth uh, that I want to drill and countersink my carby rivets. Here's some loveless bolts. These are brass on brass. Those make good knife handle um, attachments also. You can repurpose old plow discs. They're plentiful and uh, another good uh, metal is uh, lawnmower blades. Um, you should make your own survival bushcraft knives. Um, um, you need to uh, know a little bit about um, everything um, that goes with uh, survival so you can make your own tools of the trade. Okay, if you choose to go stainless steel, you can purchase the um, stainless steel. This is ATS 34. It's an inch and a half in width and 3 sixteenths in thickness. What you can do is you can put your uh, um, bushcraft knife pattern on there, scribe around it, and then grind down to your mark. And then you can put your grind on your blade and put any marking that you might want to put on there and then uh, pre-drill your uh, tangs to, uh, for your handle slabs and then uh, when you get that blade uh, the way you want it the hollow grind or the flat grind in it and the tangs drilled you can send that off to uh, Texas Knife Maker Supply and they will heat treat the blade for you and uh, you'll have a high quality blade made to your specifications and uh, the shape that you want and it will uh, um, not um, rust on you. That would be the main advantage plus it'd have a superior holding edge. They know what they're doing at Texas Knife Maker Supply and they can heat treat that blade for you so it will um, hold up for a long time.